Alright guys, I am here at Pond. It's about 7.45. 8 o'clock, sorry. 8 o'clock. Got up a little later than I thought that I was going to. I was going to get up really early and come out here, but when I woke up it was just kind of real, real dark. So I, was, I just thought I'd sleep a little bit later. Um, I'm going to start out with a frog. See if I can get them to hit top water. I was here the other day, caught a couple decent ones and they caught some dinks hopefully today I'll catch a few um, I did go fishing yesterday did not catch anything in the process you can tell I'm wearing these my five dollar sunglasses from Walmart that I got that one time when I went kayak and I forgot my paddle and my sunglasses um, well I'm wearing these because I had a little mishap in my kayak yesterday well you know what just watch it. I'll put the clip right here. Just watch it. You'll see why I'm wearing these sunglasses and not my Oakleys. Yeah, that happened. Um, so my Oakleys are now at the bottom of the mill pond. Um, luckily, I didn't pay full price for those. And had the water been clear at all, it was like chocolate milk, I would have gone in after them. But it was not. It was so, so dirty yesterday. It was just not a good day of fishing. Um, I did try to catch them with a hook, but I could not. There's just so much stuff on the bottom there, it was almost impossible. So maybe one day I'll get them back, but as of now, I don't have them. Luckily, I didn't pay um, the full price for them. I bought them off somebody that they were not even really used. They got them and didn't like them, so they sold them to me. So, yeah. Uh, Oakleys are gone. have to use these. I don't see me getting another pair. I'm, re I'm really good about keeping up my sunglasses. I have a pair of Oakleys that I had when I was in high school. That was a long time ago. So I'm really good about keeping up with my sunglasses and stuff. I, why I had them still on my head and not on my face or hanging around my neck, I'll never know. That's why I had the cable thing. But anyway, it happens. I did see something cool yesterday, and here's that clip. So that was pretty cool. I was actually, I saw the squirrel. I was fishing. I saw the squirrel and then I look up just a little bit higher and there's the owl. So it was pretty cool and the squirrel and the owl kind of went at it for a few minutes and I really thought the owl was going to 
was going to get the squirrel, but he didn't. They didn't. They ended up not messing with each other. So, but it was pretty cool. The owl sat there the whole time I fished in that area and just watched. So it was pretty awesome. That was right before I lost my sunglasses. So maybe instead of being good luck, it was bad luck. But anyway, it was pretty cool to see. So, all right, let's see if I can catch some fish on a frog early in the morning. All right, no look on the frog. Not even a blow up. It's weird. Sometimes this pond is just stagnant and, and nothing bites. So hopefully that's not one of those days. I'm gonna put on something else. Um, I, I may try a buzz bait or a whopper plopper. I just don't know. This pond's so small. I hate to do anything that makes too much noise. Um, I don't know. Let me go look in my bag and see what I got and see what I'm gonna throw on. All right, guys. I chose the Phoenix baits. Um, chatterbait and I put just a little crawl on the back so we'll see if I can catch something with it all right time to go simple I'm just gonna put on a taste trig worm See if I can't get something on that. If not, I'll go to another spot. Tough fishing the last two days. I don't know. I mean, you can tell the wind's blowing. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad, but it is a little cooler. So I don't know if the fish have just decided to not eat today. I don't know what it is. The last two days have been rough, though. So we'll see. So <clears throat> this is just a Texas rig rib snake. I'm just using it because it's what's tied on. Um, I may bring out the fly rod in a few minutes if I can't catch anything on this. We'll see. Alright, time to bring out a fly rod. And I may come back to some of this stuff. I may come back to a worm, but I'm going to try to fly rod for a little while. I've got to get used to throwing it. Trips to Michigan's in two weeks, so I've got to get used to throwing that fly rod. It's gonna be a little hard because it's windy out here, but hopefully I'll be able to maybe at least catch one. That's the goal. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this. I'm fine with this. There was a big one swimming around it, and this line will break if a big one, if a big one grabbed it. So fine with the little bluegills grabbing it. And they're easy to get unhooked. There. Okay, for those of you that fly fish on a regular basis, I need to know what kind of flies to get for let's just say smallmouth. These are the only. These are poppers are the only thing that Walmart had. And Dunham's only has flies that say trout. Can I, what kind of flies do I need for smallmouth especially? Because that's what I'm going to be targeting when I go to Michigan. What kind of flies do I need? Um, is it something, can I catch something? Can I catch a smallmouth on a fly that is made for trout? Um, I, need, I need you guys' help. I need you guys to, uh, to help me out with that. So please, if you know anything about fly fishing, what kind of flies do I need to get for smallmouth? Leave a comment below, please. Thank you. First bass on a fly rod. My first bass on a fly rod right there. Awesome. Thank you, little buddy. 
I'm letting you go. Thank you, little buddy. Look at that. How cute. Isn't it just so cute? My first bass on my rod. Two. Bigger bluegill. Alright, buddy, let me have my fly back. Mm. Really wanted that, didn't you? Oh, there's another bluegill. Nice. A little bit bigger. He really wanted it. Nice size. Nice size bluegill. That one. That's a good bluegill right there. That is a nice bluegill. Ouch, buddy. Come on, man. I'm trying to help you out. Look at that. That's a nice bluegill right there. Hold on, buddy. I'm going to let you go. That's a, that's a nice bluegill. Stop. Please stop. I don't want to hold him like that. That's it. Ouch. It's a nice bluegill. Alright, buddy, I'm letting you go. Okay? Cheers. Overall, not a bad morning of fishing. I ended up catching all the fish I caught on the fly rod, which is fine. I needed to practice on that. Got my first bass on the fly rod, so that was exciting. It was a baby, but still, I, I'm fine with that. The line that I have on there is really small, so even if I hooked into a big one, I wouldn't be able to uh, to get it in anyway. It would break it off, and I don't want that to happen. So, great morning of fishing. I uh, wish I could have caught some on the regular rod. I re I'm really sorry for the wind noise because there's probably a lot. Let me try to move this. Hopefully, that cuts down the wind noise a little bit, but it was a good morning I enjoyed it I've really got to work on the fly fishing some more I feel like I'm getting better but there's always room for improvement and only have two weeks so I may be doing several fly fishing um, adventures in the next couple weeks more than normal just because I want to get ready so hopefully this is not garbage because of the wind noise if it is then I'll redo it at the house but hopefully not as always thank you for watching thanks for sticking with me subscribe if you hadn't already Give me some pointers about fly fishing. If you see something I'm doing wrong, please tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. This is literally the third time I have picked up that rod to try to throw it. So please tell me what I'm doing wrong. If you see something, if you're a normal fly fisherman, please tell me. Also, please let me know what kind of flies I need to get for smallmouth fishing. Because that's what I want to catch when I go to Michigan. I've never caught a smallmouth. That is what I want to catch. So please let me know what kind of flies I need to get when I'm just for Michigan that's it for Michigan that's it I'll use them I'll probably use them here too maybe I'll do a challenge with trying to catch one on a smallmouth fly but that is my goal when I go to Michigan is to catch smallmouth so please let me know what I need to throw as far as flies go thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome